In this video, we will discuss self-treatment techniques of the muscles on the front of the thigh called the quadriceps or the quads. The quads are located on the anterior or front of the thigh and generally refer pain into a region of the knee respective to the location of the muscle. To make things simple, we will divide the quads into three portions. We'll look at the top center, the inside, and the outside. The top center muscle of the quadricep, called the rectus femoris, refers pain which is en encompasses the entire kneecap. The next quad we will look at is the top inside, called the vastus medialis. This inside quadricep refers pain to the inside aspect of the knee. This muscle is also known to cause the knee to buckle in addition to pain. Buckling usually occurs after a person has had pain in this region for some time. This next quadricep is on the top outside of the thigh called the vastus lateralis. The outside quadricep refers pain that can occur anywhere down the side of the thigh as well as in the side of the knee. In order to treat the rectus femoris muscle, we will be using the back knob or two. But instead of using either of the S-shaped curves, we're going to use the center portion here where it is straight. Keeping the hands close together, compress the back knob or into the muscle while keeping the entire lower extremity firmly planted against the ground. Avoid pressing back into the back knob or, as that will activate the muscle you are attempting to self-treat, thus negating the therapeutic effect. Keep conscious of the tension of the quads as you treat them. Treat by keeping pressure on the muscle and sliding the back knob or down the thigh from the crease of the hip until about one inch before the kneecap. Next, we're going to treat the vastus medialis. To properly treat this muscle, the outside of the knee should be properly supported against the stable surface such as a wall, desk, or bed. Since we do not have that surface, I'm going to use my hand to simulate it. Erica is going to compress the vastus medialis muscle from the mid-thigh once again to about one inch before the kneecap. She's going to stop on any tender areas and hold them until they dissipate. To treat the vastus lateralis, we can once again use the center part of the back knob or two. Notice that Erica has placed her foot to the outside of the chair leg in order to provide support for her thigh while she compresses the vastus lateralis. Remember to keep the thigh relaxed and treat from the outside of the mid-thigh to about one inch before the bony part of the knee. If you would like to add a little bit more direct compression to any other tender areas that you feel on the outside of the knee, you can turn the back knobber and use the knob end to compress those areas.